just again recall the uh, concept of discrete uh, random variable. So discrete means first you are coming with definition of random variable that means it is a map from uh, outcome collection of outcome omega that sample space you call it and to omega x. It is a subset of real number. Okay, codomain is do not talk here. In the last byte do not talk, just be attentive here. And the secondly, uh, this the first one is talking about x is a random variable. The second one is talking about it would be a discrete random variable when okay the second one is talking about that discrete nature of omega x again i am saying maintain the silence if you are having any doubt ask question don't make noise um, if you are very much fond of making noise just go out and do that so omega x is a discrete sheet that means we are writing here omega omega x it is a collection of random numbers so we are writing as a sequence it is a discrete sheet so we are writing as a sequence so it, it is like that and k is coming from natural number or subset of natural number what you call it so you know that regarding the sequence criteria various time i have already discussed then third you come on you, you come up with uh, what probability mass function probability mass function that we denote it by a small p and we relate it with the corresponding random variable so here put is x as a suffix and we say that value of probability mass function at a point x a small x it is what it is defined as probability that the random variable capital X is observing a value a small x. A small x. So, this one uh, in the process uh, of this definition I had already defined three terms that you can recall from the previous lecture. You can recall. So, if you are willing to understand again then you can recall that. I am not uh, asking again here to bring it. So, all the, these three in together we call it discrete random variable. So, in short we will write discrete random variable. Okay. And here is this probability mass function is satisfying three properties that also you can see that the value of Px must be between uh, 0 and 1. That means it is taking value from the close interval 0 and 1. That means Px a small p of x a small p of x it is taking value from close interval 0 1 it is an acc accumulation of first two point of probability measure how it is coming i had already explained the second property we call it normalizing property that means it is combination of the discrete niche, uh, that probability of sample space is 1 and also discretization or discretization or you call it uh, uh, partition of the sample space due to discrete nature of the random variable. How partitioning is happening that I had already explained. So, that means you are summing the value of probability mass function for each value of the random variable uh, or you call it each value of random numbers and that summation will be equal to 1. Summation of a small p of x and this summation is running over all possible random numbers. A small random number we denote, denote it by a small number, a small x. We say that it, it, it is for all possible x and this sum is equal to 1. And the third one is it is way out to compute probability of an event. So, what is the 
probability of some sort of random number that means x is taking value not completely from omega x it is x is taking value only from a subset of omega x that we call it b and loosely you can call it borel set what is the probability how will compute probability we have to look within uh, b what are the random number present in b and we will compute value of probability mass function at those random numbers and we will sum it up and that will give probability definitely this probability would be what less than 1 and greater than 0 proper kind of thing so what we are talking so here x we are not talking about all possible x from omega x we are talking about x from the subset of omega x b it is just x we are taking from b itself so it is just you can say that third one is talking about computation of probability of b competition competition how you compute it okay so these three properties are very much important for this probability mass function so if i am asking what is the domain of uh, this one a small p domain of capital p is what domain of x you have already seen omega domain of x is what omega it is a map from omega so domain of x is omega what is domain of capital p what is domain of i am not asking range domain i am asking domain so uh, random variable x is mapping it is a mapping from omega to omega x i am leaving the range or codomain now what is the domain of capital p what is the domain of capital p have you forget what is the domain of capital p capital p is the probability measure what is the domain of capital p sigma algebra of omega that means collection of all possible events i am not talking about collection of all possible subset i am saying that collection of all possible events so p is a map from sigma algebra to closed interval 0 1 you can say that but i am not interested in that part now what is the domain of a small p anyone what is the domain of a small p how, how much uh, uh, what kind of uh, character you observe in uh, p in the process of defining p what would be it would be not omega x any other how you had seen if you are saying omega x then in the example of tossing three coin together and that time I had told that what is the value of probability mass function at 5 that means x is observing value 5 what is the value of probability mass function at 5 it is 0 when you are tossing three coin so if it is 0 and 5 is not coming in omega x omega x contains 0 1 2 3 only 3 so 4 or 5 other things are not coming then why we are able to define value of uh, uh, that probability mass function at 5 why we are able to define we are defining it through inverse map of inverse map criteria that inverse map of b borel set to sigma algebra so similar to sigma algebra there is an sigma algebra in omega x sigma algebra is there where it is meant for omega then there is a borel algebra that we call it borel collection of all borel set that we call it borel algebra collection of all event we call it uh, sigma algebra collection of all borel set we call it borel algebra that means collection of subset of omega x collection of all subset of omega x so that would be domain of a small p so see the definition here how it is defined a small p of x 
actually the suffix we never uh, you want we are just writing it for the sake of uh, association with x not more than that while reading we are not uh, reading uh, pronouncing this. this this we simply see the a small p of x this one is the property mass function how it was defined it, it was defined as composition of property major and composition was not with x it was with inverse image of this a small x observe value of x this inverse image. and how it was defined as so it was defined as you know that composition map how it is defined as p of inverse image of argument of p is what it would be some event in sigma algebra and actually if you talk about this x what you are taking it this x is coming from omega x so actually those also defining those are also defining event from the uh, random number perspective so the collection of all those event we call it borel algebra so that means if you talk about uh, the inner this is the innermost uh, argument that's why that that we call it a domain so simply you know also also fun, composition function notation how it how we say that how we denote uh, composition function g of fog g of x g of x how it is acting over an argument x how it it is acting over this one it is acting via g that f of f of g of x so the innermost is the argument that one is defining the domain actual domain that one is defining actual domain. what is the domain of uh, fog f of g x is coming from the domain how you see and g of x is coming in the domain of f but the composed map f of g what is what argument f of g is taking x and what argument f is taking g of x that different you should know the domain of f is different domain of f of g is different okay so actually we are always this one is the final thing the composed version so we are always worrying about what would be domain of that so domain of so so that's way uh, it is in right hand side you observe composed kind of situation so we will worry about what is the domain of a small p so the domain of a small p is here a small p i am writing it like this way domain is borel algebra it is very much related with sigma algebra so borel algebra algebra you can write it like beta type something just you are giving notation okay and it is coming with respect to what what with respect to what it is coming omega x so you you have to put it here omega x and what is the range 0 1 close interval 0 1 here you can put complete it what is range of a small p 0 1 what is range of a capital p that one is also 0 1 range of capital p is 0 1 what is range of x that one is omega x range of x is omega x so i think everything regarding discrete random variable and the corresponding probability distribution might be clear to everyone but i have i have summarized everything till now what i have discussed i have summarized everything so all these are coming from the function perspective Function that you have to recall all those things. Okay, now we will talk about various different type of discrete random variable. The simplest discrete random variable is the Bernoulli distribution, a uh, Bernoulli random variable, and the corresponding probability distribution we will call it Bernoulli distribution. What is meaning of Bernoulli random variable or Bernoulli distribution? That means it is just taking two value. So a random variable. Uh, x it is having a Bernoulli distribution with a parameter p that we call it probability of success if there are two outcome possible outcome only 
then what outcome you can call it success, another you will call it failure. Okay. So, in that scenario, the small p will be a parameter of that uh, uh, random variable and you will talk it probability of success. One of two outcome would be probability of success. So, uh, the random variable x we will call it a Bernoulli random variable. If it is having a probability distribution as it is defined as probability that x uh, value of probability mass function at x it is defined as probability that x is observing value of small x. It is taking uh, value p when x is observing value 1 and it, it is taking value minus 1 if x, x is observing 0. And the unified definition of probability mass function of this Bernoulli random variable we write it p to the power x into 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x where x is observing just two value either 0 or 1. 0 is related with failure, 1 is related with success. So, that means Bernoulli random variable is taking just two possible value either 0 or 1. Okay. Someone may, uh, may transform it uh, minus 1 and 1. Also, you can go for that. Uh, it depends upon. So, just two value it would be there. Either you consider 0 or 1, 0 or 1 or you consider minus 1 or 1. Depends upon just two values are there. So, it, it is just very much convention. And the probability corresponding probability distribution or probability mass function you are writing in this form. P to the power x into 1 minus P to the power 1 minus x. When you are taking x equal to 0, what you will get? If you are taking x equal to 0, here if you are taking x equal to 0, it would be P to the power 0 is what? 1 and 1 minus P to the power 1 minus 0. That means we are having uh, value of probability mass function at 0 is 1 minus p. And what is the value of probability mass function at 1? p to the power 1 into 1 minus p to the power 1 minus 1 means 0. So, that one is 1. So, value of probability mass function at 1 is p. So, these, these bifurcated things we have written in the uniform, uh, unified way. Okay. So, this, we, this kind of random variable we call it uh, probability, sorry, Bernoulli random variable and we in short we denote it by this notation. We say that x is distributed in Bernoulli way. x is having a Bernoulli distribution and there is a probability of success p. Okay. So, here simply we call it x is a Bernoulli random variable and in simply we write in short x is and we read it x is distributed in Bernoulli way. x is distributed in Bernoulli distribution having probability of success small p. What are the example of Bernoulli random variable? The simplest example is indicator function or characteristic function. That means if you are taking a set element, those are from the set will map to 1 and element which are not in the set will map to 0. So, that we call it indicator function or characteristic function. Those are very specific kind of function what we call it. So, it is one example of Bernoulli random variable. So, Bernoulli random variable, it is used to model outcome of a Bernoulli trial. So, I had discussed Bernoulli trial. What is meaning of Bernoulli trial? So, if you are having finite number of outcome in a random experiment, then those finite number of random outcome always you can uh, classify into two kind of outcome. What are two kind of outcome? Failure and success. So, if you are coming with that kind of scenario, then such kind of partitioning or classification, we call it Bernoulli trial. Like if you are tossing a coin, either you will get head or tail. So, there are two trial, uh, two, two outcome, possible outcome. So, you call it, it is a Bernoulli trial. If you are taking a dice, throwing it and you are saying that your outcome is either even or odd, then again, how many uh, outcomes are there? Two even or odd. So, there also we come up with Bernoulli trial. Even if you put even and odd then tossing a uh, throwing a dice would be in Bernoulli trial. But if you are not saying that then it would be multinomial trial. Why? Because you will get more than two outcomes in a single throw of a dice. There are more, more than how many six outcomes are possible. So, that one is multinomial trial. If you are not saying that it is even or odd or failure of success. Okay, likewise, you can go talk about failure and success. So, if you are putting in failure and success kind of category all those events, then simply you will come up with a Bernoulli trial. So, uh, Bernoulli trial, 
so bernoulli trials uh, one is one is represented in represent so we know that random variable map random outcome to random number so the random number one is representing success and random number zero is representing failure okay so it is also a basic building block for other uh, classical discrete uh, distribution or discrete random variable so other discrete random variable whatever uh, we will study later those can be generated from this uh, bernoulli random variable okay so x if x is a bernoulli random variable and we write it like this way it is repeating here and now bernoulli random variable is used to model outcome of a bernoulli trial i have already discussed here so what is the probability mass function again probability mass function just take this definition follow this principle for your understanding and we know that bernoulli probability mass function at x is defined as probability that x is observing value small x and what we have seen that it is actually p to the power x into 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x and if you are talking about uh, this uh, distribution this dis and where x is taking value either 0 or 1 here i am taking a small x that means ob observation individual observation of uh, of the random variable either it will take 0 or 1 so can you verify that this uh, uh, probability mass function satisfying the three properties can you verify here so your p of x is written as p to the power x into 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x so uh, whatever x you will take it here this value would be always between 0 and 1 why p is the property of success that value of p would be between 0 and 1 and hence this corresponding product would be also between 0 and 1 including 0 or 1 if p equal to 0 what would be this 0 if p equal to 1 what would be this 1 so that you can see it now if you sum the uh, value of probability mass function for each individual value of random numbers then what would be that that means how many uh, random numbers you observe just 2 0 and 1 what is the value of uh, p of 0 it is 1 minus p 1 minus p what is the value of p of 1 it is p so sum of probability mass function for all random numbers it would be p plus 1 minus p what is sum so p plus 1 minus p p and minus p will cancel out we will have 1 that means it is satisfying the second property of being a probability mass function now third one is just where to compute probability of some random numbers so that is the that, that one is computation part we don't have to bother about now the second discrete random variable is uh, binomial random variable and the corresponding distribution we call it uh, binomial distribution so when it is coming so a random variable x we will call it a uh, binomial random variable and it is having a binomial distribution if there is a probability of success p and there are n number of bernoulli trials x here what x is counting number of it is counting number of head or number of success when you are performing n number of bernoulli trial and you are counting number of success then that random variable would be a binomial random variable so how many possible value x will take in that case if you are performing n number of bernoulli trial how many success are possible how many success are possible either zero success or one success or two success or three success or four success or up to n success so here the random variable x will take how many possible value n plus one possible value varying varying from zero to n okay and what is the probability mass function probability mass function is defined that probability that x is observing value a small x a small x means x is observing value a small x that means we are talking x a small x number of success uh, in how many trial bernoulli trial n trial that means we uh, we are having what is the probability of that uh, where you are having x number of a small x number of success then if you are talking about x so you perform n number of Bernoulli trial there you are counting there are x number of uh, success at the same time what we say n minus x number of failures are there okay so one outcome if you take what is the probability of that outcome 
it would be p to the power x into 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x. So, p to the power x it is probability of success p into p into p how many times it will come x time why there are x number of success and 1 minus p 1 minus p 1 minus p how many times it will come n minus x time because those are count related with failures ok. Now, you have performed n trial and you are counting x are number of success what does it mean how many such kind of outcome would be there n choose x when you are saying that x so you are it is same forming a box of size x. So, these are so these are boxes you are talking about x out of n x are coming here ok you are talking like, like that others failure will go in another box. So, this distribution this probability distribution we call it binomial distribution why we are calling it binomial distribution because it is very much resemblance with binomial theorem. So, that is why we call it binomial distribution otherwise it is generated from Bernoulli distribution. So, x is a bi, uh, binomial random variable and uh, we write generally in short way like x is distributed in a binomial way with parameter n and p. Here there are two parameters in the Bernoulli distribution we had only one parameter p that we are calling it probability of success of an outcome ok probability of success. Here we are having two parameter number of Bernoulli trial n and probability of success p. Each Bernoulli trial is having two possible outcome. Then we are saying that uh, uh, we are summing those uh, that uh, success ok. So, an x is loosely you can say that it is number of success in n Bernoulli trial. As an example you can say that x is number of success in n Bernoulli trial it is always a binomial random variable. So, binomial random variable is used to model outcome of n Bernoulli trials with uh, 1 representing success and 0 representing that random number 0 represent failure and k here sometimes people are calling it k sometimes x. So, here I have taken x as a notation. So, x is representing number of success then n minus x would be what number of failure. So, it is also a discrete counterpart of normal distribution later we will see it ok normal distribution. So, if I am asking to compute to binomial distribution as a pro probability distribution. So, we are defining uh, a small p of x how it is defined as forget about all these. So, you will come to here probability that x is observing value a small x that means you are talking about x number of success. If you are talking about x number of success what does it mean you have already got n minus x number of failure as well. So, probability of one such outcome where you observe x number of success and n minus x number of failure. What is probability of such outcome? It is p to the power x into 1 minus p to the power n minus x and how many such outcome would be there? n choose x. So, that is why this is the corresponding binomial distribution. This is the corresponding binomial distribution and it is also satisfying all three properties of a probability mass function what is first one that it take value between 0 and 1 including 0 or 1 if p equal to 0 it would be 0 p equal to 1 it would be 1 ok and you can easily visualize because p is the probability of success p is the probability so it will take value always between 0 and 1. So, ok so this value would be always between 0 and 1 you do not have to verify you have to verify this one. What is the sum of pro probability mass function for all possible value of x how many possible value x is taking here? n plus 1 are starting from 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 up to n. So, here the sum is here you have to perform it from where to where x equal to 0 to n in total n plus 1 value x is observing. So, and summing the probability. So, if you talk about this one. So, what does it what kind of form it is taking? it is it just become binomial theorem binomial theorem binomial n choose x uh, ok you are summing for x uh, and this term p to the power x 1 minus p to the power uh, n minus x. So, it is what you call it a and this you call it b. So, it would be what a plus b to the power n that means p plus 1 minus p 
to the power n. P n minus P will cancel out, you will have 1 to the power n. What is the value of 1 to the power n? It is 1 itself. So, it is satisfying the normali normalizing condition as well. And uh, third one is just it is a way to compute probability of some sort of random numbers, some sort of random numbers. So, uh, in every probability distribution it will come. Okay. Now, uh, if you talk about uh, the distribution pattern of uh, probability mass function, so what will happen that uh, x value you will take along horizontal axis and the probability distribution value you will take along vertical axis. That means value of probability mass function you will take along vertical axis. Okay. So, if suppose you are performing n number of Bernoulli trial, then x will take how many value? 0, it will take uh, n plus 1 value, what are those? 0, 1, 2 and it will go on like that, okay, up to n. So, I am just asking to compute the uh, maximum of this, uh, maximum point where this uh, uh, distribution, the binomial distribution will have maximum value where it will have maximum value, not it always n by 2, you will say that. Here there is, when it is n by 2, when p equal to 1 by 2. So, it is even not n by 2, n plus 1 by 2, it is coming like that in midpoint, n plus 1, okay. So, it is coming like this, so it is a one kind of optimization problem, you can say that. So, I have already written, geometrically you will come to know, greatest integer, so greatest integer, p is not an integer. P is a probability that one is taking value, any value between 0 and 1, any real value between 0 and 1. So, that is why you can't say that uh, n plus p. So, the the, uh, the point where this uh, binomial distribution will have maximum value, this is the point. Greatest integer function of n plus 1 time p. Sometime it depends upon what scenario, what n, n is odd or even. So, that uh, odd or uh, even if it is n equal, so if you talk about uh, 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 if you talk about uh, even, that means n equal to two, two uh, two Bernoulli trial, where it would be, it, and you are taking p equal to one by two, then what would be the uh, point where you got maximum value? It would be one, middle point. If it is odd, it would be not middle point, and median kind of situation is coming. Median kind of system. Are you aware of median or not? So, that situation is coming. So, uh, simply it is related with greatest integer function, simply you call it like that. So, if you n equal to uh, 15, that means number of Bernoulli trial is 15 and p you are taking 0 0.25, what you will see that? Probability of getting head is 0 0.25, it is what? The coin is biased towards tail. Tail part is heavier and the head part is lighter, lighter. So, what will be the probability distribution? You will see it like this way. That means, uh, uh, here, yeah, 0 0.3 I have taken, uh, another, uh, this I have taken, it is coming like this way. So, uh, okay, this kind of situation you are getting it, uh, different uh, you can call it uh, a point uh, a uh, and CDF I will discuss later. So, uh, simply what you do? Uh, there is a askewness, it is askewness, uh, askewness, but it, that means it is not, uh, we are not talking about median kind of situation. We are not, there is a not middle one kind of things. Middle, if P is not equal to 0 0.5, middle situation will not come there, some kind of askewness. Either it will uh, askew towards uh, head or askew towards tail. Some kind of askewness would be there. Some kind of askewness. Okay. So that askew is not you are not observing here. It is not symmetric kind of things. If you try to see, so it is tailness. Some kind of tailness you observe. See here, there is a right tail. Right side you observe tail. Left side tail is smaller. Right side you observe tail. Why? Why right tail is there? Because P is less than 0.5. If P is greater than 0.5, then something else will come. Okay. Now, next distribution is 
Poisson distribution and corresponding, correspondingly Poisson random variable. What is that? So there also here you are, you are counting, uh, performing various Bernoulli trial. In that Bernoulli trial, you are counting number of success. But what situation is coming here? Here either P would be very small. If P is very small, then you have to perform Bernoulli trial various times and should be very large. What is the situation like that if I am asking you to find wrong word in a given edited book? Is it possible that uh, that edited book you will uh, every in every page you will get wrong word? Not. It is rarely you will get, rarely. So probability of getting wrong word in an edited book is very small, very small. That means probability of success is very small there. So also if I am saying that what is the probability of call drop? If you are everyone might be using cell phone. So do you know what is call drop? Do you know or not? You are calling someone, but it uh, it is not going to desired place. Either it get cancelled or it is going somewhere else. Call drop kind of thing. Your call has been dropped from the, uh, the uh, your destination from where you are willing to call. Uh, to whom you are willing to call. So that one is call drop kind of things. So call drop generally, are you having experience of call drop or not? Definitely, but that call drop is not very common kind of thing. Sometime it is happening. So call drop, you, if you consider as a success, then that one is having very small probability. So, if there, if you are willing to apply binomial distribution, it would be very difficult to compute and some issues would be there. So, what we have to do, there is another distribution that we call it Poisson distribution. So, when you are having outcome which are rare in nature, then we model it through Poisson distribution. We model it through. There are various other examples like uh, if I am asking to get uh, bus at the main gate, bus a stop main gate. So what is the probability of getting a bus? That would be also very rare, that kind of thing. So Poisson, you have to come up with uh, Poisson distribution, not binomial distribution. Okay. So it is actually what is happening that here in that situation, P is very small. If P is very small, then you have to perform number of Bernoulli trial in large amount. N is very large. If P is very small, then N should, N should be very large. But N time P, is, you always say that you have to make a control. It, it is always fixed. N time P. That N time P, we call it lambda. We call it lambda. Okay. So that's why lambda is the parameter of Poisson distribution and lambda equal to n time p. When p is very small and lambda is constant, then n have to be very large. If p is approaching to 0, where n will approach? If p is approaching to 0, where n will approach? Infinity. Infinity. That's the situation. So, uh, if that is the scenario, so if you take a Bernoulli, uh, binomial distribution, what is the binomial distribution? n choose x, p to the power x, 1 minus p to the power n minus x. And here we are saying that P is very small. That means P is approaching to 0, means N is approaching to infinity. Take limit N tends to infinity. Then if you simplify this limit, I, I, I know that you people might be aware of computing this kind of limit. Okay. Replace uh, P by lambda by N. Here replace P in term of lambda here from here you can call it what is p p is a small p the probability of success a small p it is lambda by n replace in the uh, binomial distribution lambda by p and do little bit algebra and take limit the final limit would be lambda to the power x e to the power minus lambda divided by factorial x divided by factorial x. So this distribution, this probability distribution, we call it Poisson distribution. 
it is the limiting case of binomial distribution when p is very small and hence n is very large so this is the binomial distribution so generally you are not applying binomial distribution when uh, the outcome happens to be rare in nature so you are applying poisson distribution okay so i have already so loosely you can say that if n is very large there is approximation you can approximately you can write it like this way approximation if you remove the limit approximation that you know from calculus that uh, plus 2 calculus you might be aware of all this okay so the, here the x is a poisson random variable and this we can write in a notation x is distributed in a poisson way with parameter lambda lambda is what it is equal to n time p okay it is one kind of average actually it is one kind of it is very much related what we have computed last in the last what we have computed it is coming somewhat related with average okay and x is here what it is a random variable which is counting number of success in bernoulli trial per unit interval so simply interval concept why it is coming because if uh, that success is rare probability of success is small then you have to wait for longer interval then you will get to find success if i have given task that find mistakes number of mistakes in an edited book then just you don't have to uh, see one two or three page you have to see as much possible as pages are there you have to look for all almost all pages now if you are willing to find uh, you have been tasked to find number of mistake how many mistake in words then you have to look for various pages now then that means uh, you are have to perform a lot of bernoulli trials a lot of bernoulli trial you have to perform n is very large you have to perform it like that so so there would be inter interval wise like that i am looking for uh, page 1 to 90 uh, 1 to uh, 20 then 20 to 24 then uh, 42 uh, 20 to 40 then 42 60 something like that so you are coming with interval kind of things i likewise if i am asking you to get a bus from here main gate to your hostel then simply uh, you don't have to be impatient that means just you will go and uh, you are hoping that you will get a bus why getting a bus at that main gate is rare that one is a rare kind of event now so you have to wait for longer interval you will go at the morning you will wait from uh, 9 to 10 then you are not getting then further you have to wait for 10 to 11 then 11 to 12 then like that and if you are willing to increase the interval of waiting then you can go for 9 to 11 then 11 to th uh, 1 then 1 to 3 that kind of thing so uh, you have to come up with interval when some kind of rare kind of event outcomes are associated then and we are willing will to model with poisson distribution some kind of interval is coming there okay did you get interval is one kind of hidden thing here it is not directly you have to come up due to rareness rare, rare, rare nature of the outcome okay just one example i am taking and we will compute probability of that using binomial distribution also using poisson and we will count number of competition so suppose we are having 100 bernoulli trials okay and probability of success is 0.01 so it is very small probability it is very much clear and now uh, you have been asked to compute uh, probability of five successes in 100 bernoulli trial then you can compute this probability using uh, binomial distribution so what would be binomial distribution says that n choose x p to the power x into 1 minus p to the power n minus x so from that scenario it would be 100 100 choose 5 and p is 0.01 0.01 to uh, to the power 5 1 minus 0.01 to the power 95 if i am asking how many competition you are performing here can you count number of uh, competition how many competitions are here competition with number of uh, times multiplication and addition what you are doing or division division is a special case of addition subtraction is in a special uh, division is a special case of multiplication and subtraction is in a special case of addition okay so 
uh, how many times you have multiplied factorial 100 that means 100 in, uh, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into up to 100 that means how, how many times you have multiplied 100 times then you have you are dividing 101 okay then you are taking factorial n uh, 5 how many times 5 then you are taking factorial 9 uh, 95 95 and 5 100 and then you are multiplying these two 101 101 and 101 202 so this itself contains how many multiplication 202 then this one contains how many multiplication 5 multiplication 202 plus 5 207 then there is a subtraction 208 then you are taking power 95 you are taking power 95 also you are taking multiplication something again you will say that more than 300 you can say that more than 300 something you can so more than 300 computation you have done and then you are getting probability this probability more than 300 competition you have done so complexity computational complexity is more than 300 now let us we compute here we know that just give attention here p is 0 0.01 that means very small probability of success so why not we apply poisson in place of binomial so if you are applying poisson distribution then here you have to compute n time p that we call it lambda n time p would be what 100 time 0 0.01 that means equal to 1 okay and then what is the probability of five successes it would be e to the power minus lambda into lambda to the power x lambda is 1 1 to the power x is 1 1 to the, 1 to the power anything is always 1 no any okay and divide by factorial 5 so this one is 1 what is the value of e 2.73 uh, irrational number it will go uh, having uh, decimal representation non terminating and non repeating decimal representation so this one is one so then you are uh, here factorial 5 contains uh, 5 multiplication and division 6 uh, in total how many multiplication 7 you have done 7 you have done 7 or 8 8 so here how many competition you have done 8 competition uh, with 8, 8 competition what uh, probability you got 0 0.0036 if you uh, approximate it round it up up to three decimal places it would be what 0 0.003 0 0.003 and this one if you are also round, rounding up to uh, three decimation de decimal places what would be this one? 0 0.003 both value are same so which uh, competition is more easier which one is the poison approach is much so here poison modeling is much uh, better than binomial why because we have already taken extra uh, careness about property of success that happens to be very small that is why we went for uh, the poison distribution and it is taking less number of competition so if you are talking about uh, that kind of computational approach in uh, algorithm so it is part of algorithm course i think in this semester you will not have that algorithm course in next semester you might have so there you have to count number of uh, a step how many a step you are doing or how many computation you are doing how many computation you are doing so in algorithm always you have to count so which one is the faster you have to go with that that is the better one okay so here poison distribution you can see that this is the uh, plot of probability for various uh, uh, x various value of x this is the plot of probability mass function probability mass function of poison distribution and this one is cdf i will talk cdf later uh, i will not talk right now cdf i will talk this one this one is plot when here x is taking value between 0 to 100 it is taking value 0 to 100 and p is very small by default you can say that p is very small now the third distribution is geometric distribution now, this one is fourth one now this one is the fourth distribution a uh, geometric distribution or geometric random variable so what is that so here again you are performing Bernoulli trial and you are counting uh, number of trial here 
not counting number of success you are counting number of trial you, you keep on tossing a coin or burn, you are keep on performing a bernoulli trial till first success that means you have been given a task that you have to keep on tossing a coin till the time you will get first hit then if you talk about uh, the distribution the corresponding distribution we will call it geometric distribution why Be because it is having geometric sequence pattern geometric sequence pattern so it is coming like this way so a random variable x where we count number of bernoulli trial till first success or first head getting head in a toss we call it success now so till first success it is having a geometric distribution and the p is the parameter getting probability of success probability of success okay so if i am asking you that you are counting number of trials here you are not counting number of success you are counting number of trial so if you are so x will take what value what is the minimum value of x if you are counting number of trial till first success what is the least value of x you are very lucky then you can get success in first trial then x equal to 1 x can't be 0 without perfect trial how you will say that you, get, you will get hit without tossing a coin how you will say that you will get hit it is not like that now so minimum value of x would be 1 and it will take value 1 2 3 4 5 if you are totally unlucky uh, you are very unlucky then you have to keep on tossing keep on tossing keep on tossing and you are not getting hit is it possible or not it is possible or not you keep on tossing, keep on tossing, you are not getting it. That also may be possible. Definitely that probability would have very small probability, but definitely that one is a possible outcome. Okay. So that scenario. So like if you are very lucky, you can get uh, head in first uh, toss or first Bernoulli trial or, or if you are not getting in first, you have to go for next trial. Then if you are getting head in next uh, Bernoulli trial, then a stop. If you are not getting in second uh, trial, you have to go for third like that. Okay. So, probability mass function at x it is defined that probability that x is observing value a small x. That means a small x is counting number of trial. That x trial, x x exactly at x trial we got success. That is the event. It this this one is talking about event. So, what does it mean if you are talking about x? at x trial we got head the first head we got first head okay what does it say the, at the same time it say that in the first x minus 1 trial we got tail then what is the probability of those in that event one what is the probability of one tail it is 1 minus p so how many times uh, 1 minus p got x minus 1 time x minus 1 and exactly at x trial we got head so 1 minus p to the power x minus 1 into p p is the probability of getting head that we got at x trial so that's way what is the probability distribution of the geometric random variable it is 1 minus p to the power x minus 1 that means we got it in the first x minus 1 trial and exactly at the x trial we got the success at probability of success is p so this is the probability distribution of geometric random variable why we are saying that it is geometric random variable can you see that is it a geometric sequence or not what is the notation of geometric sequence e to the power r in place of r we are having x minus 1 we are having x minus 1 okay same thing so it is a geometric sequence geometric and that for convergence we know that there a must be less than 1 or modulus of a must be less than 1 do you know that or not so here also this probability is less le, less than 1 so 1 minus p is also less than 1 so same, very much similar it is geometric sequence the correspondingly the x we if x is having this kind of distribution then we call it x is a geometric random variable and we write it x is geometrically distributed x is geometric distributed and what is x it is counting number of trial till first success so whatever number of number of bernoulli trial number of bernoulli trial till first success we call it so this one is geometrically distributed okay so just take uh, p equal to 0 0.25 
and for that here plot we can see it like that. So, it is coming how protein mass function is going, it is falling, it is falling like this way, it is falling. Geometric random variable is it is falling, if you raise the power it will fall now and finally it will approach to 0. Why? Because if you are talking about it is about r, r is uh, what that uh, uh, there what you talk about r is varying there, a is less than 1. What, where at the power r, r will go, it will go to 0 now. It will go to 0 or a to the power n. Have you seen the sequence a to the power n where a is less than 1 or modulus of a is less than 1? What is the limit of a to the power n? It is 0. Okay. So, same it is coming like 0. Other geometric situation you can say that take a ball, uh, throw it. What you will see that? What is, what is the behavior of height? height of the ball, height that maximum height that ball achieve. So, it will go up to one height, then it will fall in the surface, on the surface, then again it will jump from there and then again fall. What nature you observe there? That one is having geometric behavior. So, it will that maximum height after each fall, once you have already thrown a ball, it will keep on decreasing and it is decreasing in a geometric fashion. Same plot is coming here. The probability mass function it is it will keep on decreasing with increasing nature of the number of trial. Uh, this one is a CDF. We will talk CDF later. Okay. Now, once we have already studied any question till now, any difficult uh, discrete random variable till now, you have seen. All these are very much easy, no? Okay. The next one is difficult little bit. So, what is next one? Pascal distribution. It is not Poisson. Do not consider Poisson. Both are uh, starting with the P. So, it, this one is Pascal distribution. What is meaning of that? Here, okay. In the last case, what was the parameter? P. There was single parameter P. Okay. Before that, in Poisson parameter was lambda. Before that, in binomial parameter was N and P. Before that in Bernoulli, what was the parameter? P. Now, here again two parameter situation is coming in partial distribution. One is K, another one is P. So, this would be given with probabilistic distribution. Okay. It will be given. What does it mean? P is again talking about probability of success. Again, we are dealing with Bernoulli trial. And we are performing Bernoulli trial till kth success, not first success teeth case success. That means, we keep on, we have to keep on tossing a coin till we get 10 heads. If you k equal to 10, you will say that we have to keep on tossing till we get k 10 head or someone say that k is equal to 5. We have to keep on tossing till we get first, uh, first k success of first k head. Once we get k head, we will stop. So, what is the possible value of x that here? What, what, what kind of value x will take here? What kind of value x will take? What is the minimum value of x? If I am saying that you have to perform Bernoulli trial till case success, case success, then what is the minimum value of x? What would be? In the geometric, I had told that minimum value of x is 1. So, talking about number of trial till first success. Here, you are talking about number of trial till kth success. What is the minimum value of x? What? K. If you are very lucky, then you perform first 5 toss, and in those first 5 toss, each toss is giving head. Then, in total, you will get 5 head if k equal to 5. If you are not lucky, then you have to keep on trying, keep on trying. So, minimum value of x would be k and it will progress k, k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 3 like that. So, a random variable x where we are counting number of Bernoulli trial till kth success, it is having a Pascal distribution with parameter p. Whenever Bernoulli trial will come, p will come, always p will come. p is what? Probability of success in the single Bernoulli trial. Okay. And what is the uh, probability mass function value probability at x? It is talking about 
probability that x is observing value a small x. What does it say? It says that at the x number of trial, binary trial, we got how many success we got? K success meaning of this event. It is saying we got k success when we perform x number of trials. Okay. Then how we will compute it like that? So, this distribution is coming like this way. It is not looking like, it is not binomial distribution, but, but does it look like binomial distribution? It is looking like, but it is not binomial distribution. So, an x is taking value, it k, k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 3 like that. So, situation is coming like this way. Okay. So, you are saying that you are performing x number of trial and you got k success ok. So, at the x trial at the x trial you got k success that means in the first x minus 1 trial how many success you got k minus 1 success. So, here in first x minus 1 trial how many success you got k minus 1 success. So, this one is having binomial distribution you are talking about k minus 1 success in how many trial x minus 1 trial. So, what is the probability distribution here? What is the probability? How you will compute probability here? We will compute it here. X minus 1 choose K minus 1. Okay. And what kind of outcome here we are having? We are having, uh, we have performed X minus 1 trial in which we observe K minus 1 success that means p into p into p how many times k minus 1 is coming. So, p into p into p that p to the power k minus way then how, how many times 1 minus p is coming anyone out of x minus 1 trial you got k minus 1 success the how many times you got failure there in out of x minus 1 trial it would be x minus 1 minus minus of k minus 1. So, it would be x minus 1 minus k plus 1. It is simpler. So, minus 1 plus 1 will cancel out. You will have x minus k. So, how many times 1 minus p is coming? x minus k. One minus p to the power x minus k ok. This one is talking about probability of getting k minus 1 success in x minus 1 trial and exactly at x trial we are getting a success. What is the probability of success? p. So, all these are joint event now. So, here p will come here. So, this p will multiply with this. How many uh, p is coming here? k minus 1 and one more p. So, it would be what? It would take the form of x 1, x minus 1 choose k minus 1 p to the power k into 1 minus p to the power x minus k. So, this is the Pascal distribution. How it is different from binomial distribution? In binomial distribution we are writing it, see the difference, we are writing it n choose x, n choose x e to the power x n minus p to the power 1 sorry 1 minus p to the power n minus x. 
so if you observe what difference you observe here here this one this x is varying this one is varying and here what is varying here this one, x, x is coming in the top coming in the top so that is the difference so don't confuse with pascal distribution and binomial distribution pascal distribution is generalization generalization of geometric distribution it is coming from so this one is pascal distribution so and we simply in short we write it like this one x is distributed in pascal way and there is a probability of success p and k will also come here k is also parameter and here x is counting number of bernoulli trial till k success and others uh, uh, that same competition i have already discussed it here same competition is here okay same competition it is coming now the fifth one is multinomial trial multinomial distribution so multinomial binomial and multinomial binomial coefficient everyone know that when we are coming with binomial coefficient when we are having two kind of grouping two kind of grouping failure and success failure two kind of grouping so it is originated from bernoulli distribution or bernoulli trial two kind of grouping so n choose k is equal to n choose n minus k that also you know then what is the uh, multinomial multinomial so if you are performing a trial and it is not a bernoulli trial it is a multinomial trial what is meaning of multinomial trial in a single trial of random experiment you are getting more than two outcomes what are those example in a coin we can we get a more than two outcome not but suppose the coin is bent more thick so you may get three outcome one is head another is tail another third one is it got stuck okay so three possibilities are there but if you talk about uh, throwing a dice how many in a single throw how many possibilities are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so all those are multinomial trial we call it multinomial trial so if multinomial trial is there then how what is the multinomial coefficient that means multinomial coefficient uh, we are distributing n so we are distributing uh, distributing n in various category various category various number of outcome so it would be n1 n2 n3 n4 like that so here multinomial coefficient is coming Uh, uh, factorial n divided by factorial of n1. N like there are r number of outcome in a single trial. Like here, how you expand it? What is the expansion of this? You write it as factorial n divided by factorial k into factorial n minus k if you call k equal to n1 then n minus k would be n2 there are two outcome n1 n1 is equal to k n2 equal to n minus k n1 is talking about success n2 is talking about failure but here in multinomial you are getting more than two outcome n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 up to nr nr so here just we are uh, generalizing this one factorial n divided by what would be what factorial n1 factorial n2 and it will go like that uh, if you are talking about uh, rolling a dice then it would be up to factorial n6 so like here just i am calling it factorial nr now apart from that what is the property of uh, n1 n2 n3 n4 n all these what is the property if you sum n1 n2 n up to nr what would be sum see here i can take from binomial distribution what is the sum of k plus n minus k n also here same 
property is satisfied. N1 plus N2 plus N3, it will go on like that. What would be the sum? N. So, same property you have to see it here. So, this one is multinomial. We call it multinomial coefficient. Now, in the binomial things, it is coming with respect to Bernoulli trial. Multinomial distribution is coming with respect to multinomial trial. So, multinomial trial example I have told that throwing a dice and uh, some uh, different situations. So, the binomial distribution can easily be generalized to the case of n repeated independent trials where each trial can have more than two outcomes. Each trial is having more than two outcomes. We denote the possible outcome in a single trial we call it E1, E2, E3 up to ER. We are calling it there are R number of uh, uh, outcome in a single trial, all number of possible outcomes in a single trial. And suppose that probability of the realization of E1 is P1, E2 is P2. Like uh, what is the probability of uh, when you are uh, throwing a dice, what is the probability of getting 1? 1 by 6. Getting probability of 2 is 1 by 6. Uh, all those are uniform, equally likely situation. So, that is why 1 by 6, 1 by 6 we are getting it like that. And if I talk about some of the probability of 1 by 6, all those 6 outcomes, what would be the sum? 1. So, 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6, 1. So, that likewise, what is the probability of sum of uh, each outcome? Probability of that means P1 plus P2 plus P3 up to Pn, it would be 1. Same. So, here in the multinomial trial, what we are getting? We are getting a probability vector. We are getting a probability vector having R number of components. First component is talking about probability with respect to first outcome. The second, you can give call which one is first, which one is second, that you can see. Because these are finite in number. So, the result of n trial is a succession like E3, E1, like that, this kind of product kind of things are coming. So, the probability that, that n trial in E1 occurs. How many times it occurs? K1 time, E2 occurs, K2 times and likewise it will go. Okay. So, what is the probability mass function at x? That means uh, a, a random variable x is observing value a small x. What is meaning of a small x? A small x that means you have performed n number of uh, trial in which you are talking about uh, x number of success you are getting it. The success is distributed K1 time E1 occurred, K2 time, E2 occurred, K3 time, E3 occurred and KR time, ER occurred. So, that X is also distributed. Okay. So, what is the probability? So, what is the probability if uh, E1 is occurring K1 times? What, the, what is P1 to the power K1? E2 occurs K2 time. That means P2 to the power K2. PR, e, ER occur K2 time, and K, KR time. So, PR to the power KR. This one is probability of one such outcome. Okay. Okay. So, how many outcomes are there? N choose in this multinomial way. Factorial N. So, uh, divide by factorial K into factorial, K, factorial K1 into factorial K2, likewise it will go. Okay. So, this we call it multinomial distribution. And this sum up, I had call it n1, n1, n2, n3. I just, I, I just try to match the notation with uh, this binomial coefficient. Here k notation I had taken. So, same thing you are. Uh, so, here k1 plus k2 plus k3 up plus up to kr, it is equal to n. It is equal to n. Same thing. So, this we call it uh, multinomial distribution. So, one example of this one in rolling 12, uh, 12 dice. You, are, you have taken 12 dice and find the probability of getting each face twice. You have taken 12 dice. It is complicated than taking 12 coin, 12 dice. So, how many outcomes are associated with a single trial? 6 outcomes. E1, E2, E1 is getting phase 1, E2 is getting phase 2 and E6 is getting phase 6. Okay. So, then, so, if you are talking about uh, uh, 12 dice, so what would be here situation? Each face gets twice, k1 equal to 2, k2 equal to 2, k3 equal to 2, likewise k6 equal to 2, 
each face is coming twice that that situation is there how many times n equal to 12 so what is the multinomial what is the desired probability it is factorial 12 divided by factorial 2 how many times it will come six time it will come uh, what is the probability of getting 1 1 by 6 how many times uh, we are getting 1 twice 1 by 6 to the power 2 then what is the probability of getting 2 1 by 6 how many how many times 2 is coming twice so to the power 2 3 getting 3 is having probability 1 by 6 how many, how many times we are getting it? 2 twice is given here so to the power 2 like that if you simplify this is the de desired probability so this one this we call it multinomial distribution okay uh, actually it is around 3 should we go further there is one last example after that uh, we will discuss other thing later so so i am talking about uh, the next uh, distribution that one is uniform distribution uniform dist distribution what does it mean we are taking numbers between a to b a a plus 1 a plus 2 a plus 3 it will go up to b and we are saying that these are uniformly distributed that means equally likely probability of occurrence of one is equal to probability of occurrence of other like that equally likely situation what is the probability distribution what is the probability distribution you have to count number of num, number of in, yeah, integers Inti suppose it, these are integers uh, how many counts are there so you have to count so what would we count if we, you are taking number between a and b and those uh, proceed with plus 1 so how many numbers are there it is b minus a plus 1 or what it would be or something else ok I have I have not taken a equal to 0 ok a is very general kind of integer something like suppose these are integers so it is very simple that b minus a plus 1 it is easily you can compute so x is a random variable which is taking value between uh, a to b so a you will write how a plus 0 second term you are writing a plus 1 likewise b how you will write the last term how you will write it if you are willing to express in term of uh, this a how you will write so this one is n in term of n, you call it n number of counts you call it like you will write is and this b as a plus n minus 1 just relation see it here a you are writing a plus 0 second term you are writing a plus 1 that means 2 minus 1 second term 2 minus 1 likewise b how you will write a plus n minus 1 so that's where that relation is so that one is n that that in that way n you are counting this n is this one there are various way to know what is n okay so uh, here in total how many numbers are there integers are there n integers and each one is equally likely so each one is having same probability what probability is that that one is 1 by n so probability mass function at x is having same probability that probability is 1 by n n is what b minus a plus 1 so probability this discrete uh, uniform discrete probability is 1 by b minus a plus 1 when x is observing this value if you are taking x other than this value those would will not observe by x and that means those are having zero probability this we call it uniform discrete distribution or correspondingly uniform random variable ok so just one example here uh, 10 ping pong balls are numbered from 1 to 10 you are taking 10 ping pong, ping pong ball and placed in a bag one ping pong ball is what is indian name of in ping pong ball in english table tennis have you played table there might be table tennis so in china people are calling it ping pong something like that uh, but in india we are calling it tennis uh, table tennis so 
uh, you should also understand meaning of that. Okay. So, one ping pong ball is removed at random from the bag. Find the probability that number on the drawn ping pong ball is between 7 to 10. So, what is the probability of x equal to 1? What is the probability of x equal to 1 to 10? How many balls are there? 10 minus 1 plus 1. In total, 10 balls are there. 1 to 10. Numbers as 1 to 10. 10 balls are there. What is the probability of x equal to 1? 1 by 10. What is the probability of x equal to 2? 1 by 10. All are uniformly distributed, equally likely situation. Now, question is there, find the probability that that number of ping pong ball is between 7 to 10. What is meaning of 7? Between 7 to 10? We are not including 7, we are not including 10. We are taking number between these two. Okay. So, what is the probability uh, between 7 to 10? That means a strict inequality is coming. So, 8 and 9 is coming. What is the probability of getting 8? 8th number of ball, 1 by 10. Probability of getting 9th ball, 1 by 10, so 2 by 10 answer. This one is very simple kind of things. So, we have already covered almost uh, uh, all possible, uh, uh, not all possible discrete, there are others discrete random variable as well. So, another one is hypergeometric random variable. Hypergeometric random variable. It is again dealing with uh, uh, that grouping kind of things. Like uh, in a population having n element and we are saying that uh, n1 are red and n2 are bl black. So, a, a group of R element, you are taking R element, R el element you have taken. So, in that R, black would be there also and red would be there also. So, we seek the probability that uh, uh, that group, uh, the probability that uh, uh, that the group so chosen will contain exactly k number of red ball. So, what would be the possible maximum value of k? Maximum value of k? It is not like that simply we will say that it would be less than r. Why? Also, we know that how many red balls are there? How many red balls are there? N1. And how many ball we have picked from the bag? R ball. We have picked R ball. Okay. So, here the value of uh, k would be less than equal to whichever minimum n1 or n1 that number of red ball or r how many balls you have taken. So, just you are picking ball uh, there are two type of ball you are picking randomly like this without looking into. Okay. So, here simply I am asking to compute probability of this k number of red balls are there. So, k must be less than equal to uh, minimum of n1 and r. Okay. n1 and r. So, and red one if you uh, if you talk about red one, red one how, how you will choose? You will red one you will choose in how many way? N1 choose K ways. So, if you are doing that then uh, black ball will be chosen in chosen in how many way? How many red ball are there? Black ball are there? N2. N2 is equal to N minus N1. So, out of N2 we have to take uh, how many black ball we have to choose? That K ball is already red kind of things. So, and how many ball we have picked? R. So, it would be R minus K. So, N2 choose R minus K. So, what is the desired probability? So, this one is the probability of event uh, that okay. Uh, the number of uh, occurrence of outcome divided by all possible outcomes. That means, we are picking R ball from N balls, out of N balls, we are picking R ball. This one is, okay. So, there are various, it is not simply look like uh, binomial distribution, it is not like that, it is different grouping kind of things are there. So, just uh, this we call it hypergeometric uh, distribution, this is the hypergeometric distribution. And there are very various other, uh, if you are going for that, the various other distribution will come later, but these are mainly coming in. Uh, discrete uh, distribution. Okay. So, other thing we will cover in next class. Fine. Actually, we have already finished time.